Hello. Now let's discuss force, the effect of force. And for example, if I push this uh, wrench, okay, this force will tend to move this object. Now that is not only the effect of force. One of the effect of force is if I have here a pipin koto, then I will put a force here. If you notice, this object tends to rotate in an axis. Okay? The tendency to rotate, we call that moment or the rotational tendency. So you have moment. Another term for moment is torque. Okay? Now, uh, let's see. I have here a, I will pin this one. Okay, then forget about this one. Okay, if you notice, the tendency to rotate will depend on the force and, of course, the, uh, the distance. Actually, the equation for moment, okay, the equation for moment is force times distance. This distance should be perpendicular. Okay? Now, that is very important. A perpendicular distance. Now, here, if I uh, uh, put attention here, a force, hilain ko paganon. Okay? The distance that we are repairing is from this point to that point. But, again, if I... Uh, Hilain ko dito, put attention here. If you notice, this is a line. It passes through the pivot. It doesn't rotate. Obviously, it doesn't rotate. Or the other way around. Obviously, it doesn't rotate. Now, the distance is not this one. But the distance is the perpendicular. Let's see, the distance now is zero. That's why the moment tendency to rotate is zero. Now, if I put it here slightly... So, it moves. Now, the distance, for example, okay, this one, this is the force, okay. The distance that we are repairing is this one, not this, okay. A while ago, if our force is like this, so it is perpendicular. This yellow, perpendicular to that one, so the distance is this one. But if your force is like this one, so, the distance is this now. So, again, take note of that. Now, here, if you notice, okay, same as true, if I uh, hilain ko dito, put attention here, it will not rotate. But if I put a uh, perpendicular distance or there's a distance, okay, perpendicular distance here, it will rotate. But if I, if there's no distance, it will not rotate. So, that is the distance we are repairing. So, take note of that. Okay? Of course, the greater the force, the greater the tendency to rotate. Okay? The application of this one for mechanical engineering is if you tighten a bolt. Okay? So, that is easy. But there are many applications. One of them is tightening a bolt. Okay? Of course, if you tighten a bolt, it is advantageous if you... This one is very easy. Just put that one. But for a harder one, one way is to elongate this one. Okay, if this is too tight, and if you want to put a large torque tendency to rotate, then put a larger distance and don't make it that way. Okay, it should be perpendicular. Okay, so that is the application. Okay, so that is torque. Again, this is the formula. That is easy. Now, there's a formula we're in. This is vector notation. Uh, we will not discuss this yet. This is a... Uh, oh, sorry, it should be force. So, we will not discuss this yet. Okay? So, it should be in vector across product. We will only deal first with this one. Now, let's have some convention. Okay? In the sense that, for the force, 
Okay, our convention is, if that is going up, it's positive. Going down, it's negative. To the left, negative. To the right, it's positive. Now, for the moment, okay, it's different. It's not going up or going down, but in terms of rotation. Okay, again, the sign for the moment is rotation, not the force. Okay, again, this is force or force times distance. So, it's not the sign of the force but the rotation. Now, in our convention, in our class, for uh, counterclockwise is positive, for clockwise it's negative. Other books, baliktad, in reverse. But again, this is just a convention. Okay? We will be using this one. Now, let me see. Let me demonstrate. If the movement, okay, if I have here, put a force here, okay, the movement is counterclockwise, that's why it's negative. Okay, take note of that. Counterclockwise, that's why it's negative. Don't be confused that's going down, it's negative. No, don't do that. Okay, why? Because if we reverse the pivot, Okay, if we have here, uh, let's see, I will pin it here, okay, so this is free, then if I pin it there, this force is going down, but take note, the rotation now is counterclockwise, it, it counterclockwise, it's positive, so take note of that, depending on your pivot, it, depending on the rotation, and the reference is your pivot, okay, it's going down, but it's positive. Okay? So, don't be mistaken. Don't look at this one. Don't say going down, going to the right, going to the left. Okay? It is in the rotation. For example, this one. What's the rotation? The rotation is in clock, uh, clockwise. So, it's negative. So, it's negative. Okay? So, that one, the rotation is... Uh, counterclockwise is positive. Okay, if we put the pivot here, the rotation here, for example, this one, okay, so the rotation is clockwise, so that is negative. Okay, going to that one, if the rotation is, uh, the rotation is now counterclockwise, so that is positive. So remember that, Remember, uh, remember our equation, remember our rotation. Okay, so that, that's it for our uh, topic.